We're at the Boundary Layer Wind Tunnel Laboratory. We're doing experiments on, on houses and how they perform in, in extreme winds, such as tornadoes and hurricanes. Aaron Jaffe is a, a civil engineering student. He just finished his third year, and he's working on this project um, to understand how roofs fail in, in, in tornadoes. So we have, in the, in, in the wind tunnel now, we have um, a neighborhood of, uh, of typical suburban houses. This is pretty similar to Angus, Ontario, where in June 2014 um, there was a tornado that damaged about 100 houses and, and about a dozen of them lost their roofs. So we're trying to understand the wind speeds and, uh, and the performance of houses that, that under failure. Um, so this is kind of a, kind of a fun project. Uh, the houses are, are modeled to fail. Uh, we use actually fridge magnets to hold the roofs down and, and it's all properly and scientifically scaled so that we can understand uh, the actual forces that the wind causes uh, to cause failure. And we're going to be increasing the wind speeds. Oh, we had our first failure. So one house lost its roof already. The rest are performing pretty well. There's a lot of variability in the wind and there's a variability in, in how structures perform and so it takes different gust speeds to cause failures on the different houses. Oh, there. Two more went. Part of the simulation, well in real tornadoes there's a lot of windborne debris. Um, of course, we don't have that in the wind tunnel, but we simulated that by having broken windows on the sidewalls, and that also plays a big role in the performance of houses.